the poor and vulnerable in our country, including North Clarendon, used to benefit from a GOJ food for the poor housing program. Most MPs under the previous administration, under the, under Hope or Jeep, most MPs receive this, these. Mr. Speaker, most members of parliament receive this. This program has ended. And Mr. Speaker, these are some of the conditions that poor people face. Tell me if a poor family cannot expect the state to do something for them. Someone who is not a contributor to the National Housing Trust. A poor citizen. If the Ministry of Housing or the Ministry of, of, of Economic Growth cannot restart the housing program so elderly person like Nachi, Bongo Nachi who live there and Mr. Williams from this one can be assessed. Mr. Speaker, like many constituencies, our roads are deteriorating as a result of the many flood rains that we have experienced. In the early 1990s, there was a program called the Rural Road Improvement Program, which most constituencies, rural constituencies, benefit from. Mr. Speaker, although we get some assistance from the MIDP, one roads or two roads, we are appealing to the government to find a way to start back this Rural Road Improvement Program so that the constituencies in rural Jamaica can have more than just this one road being fixed. 